Hello friends, welcome to this video session. The topic that we are going to cover in this session is Chemical Properties of Carbon Compounds. Friends, the most common carbon compounds are hydrocarbons, which are alkanes, alkenes and alkynes. The chemical properties which we are going to study here are Combustion reactions, oxidation reactions, addition reactions, and substitution reactions. Combustion reaction occurs in all types of hydrocarbons. Substitution occurs only in saturated hydrocarbons, whereas addition reactions are given by only unsaturated hydrocarbons, alkene and alkynes. Let us start with combustion reactions. Carbon in all its allotropic forms burns in oxygen to give carbon dioxide along with the release of heat and light. Most carbon compounds also release a large amount of heat and light on burning. These are the oxidation reactions. Saturated hydrocarbons will generally give a clean flame, while unsaturated carbon compounds will give a yellow flame with lots of black smoke. However, limiting the supply of air results in incomplete combustion of even saturated hydrocarbons, giving a sooty flame. The gas or kerosene stove used at home has inlets for air so that a sufficiently oxygen-rich mixture is burnt to give a clean blue flame. If you observe the bottoms of cooking vessels getting blackened, it means that the air holes are blocked and fuel is getting wasted. Fuels such as coal and petroleum have some amount of nitrogen and sulfur in them. Their combustion results in the formation of oxides of sulfur and nitrogen, which are major pollutants in the environment. So friends, how can we define combustion reaction? The process of burning of a carbon compound in air to give carbon dioxide, water, heat and light is called combustion. Let us discuss one more example. Alkanes burn in air to produce a lot of heat due to which alkanes are excellent fuels. The process in which a compound gains oxygen or loses hydrogen is called oxidation reaction. Carbon compounds can be easily oxidized on combustion. In addition to this complete oxidation, we have reactions in which alcohols are converted to carboxylic acids. We see that some substances are capable of adding oxygen to others. These substances are known as oxidizing agents. Alkaline potassium permanganate or acidified potassium dichromate are oxidizing alcohols to acids, that is, adding oxygen to the starting material. Hence, they are known as oxidizing agents. So, now we know what is oxidation and what are oxidizing agents. Let's move towards the next type of reactions. In the presence of sunlight, Chlorine is added to hydrocarbons in a very fast reaction. Chlorine can replace the hydrogen atoms one by one. It is called a substitution reaction because one type of atom or a group of atoms takes the place of another. Saturated hydrocarbons are quite unreactive and do not react with many substances but they undergo substitution with chlorine in presence of sunlight. Also, since this substitution is taking place by chlorine, 
It is called chlorination. Chlorine can replace the hydrogen atoms one by one. It is called a substitution reaction because one type of atom or a group of atoms takes the place of another. A number of products are usually formed with the higher homologues of alkanes. In this given reaction, only one hydrogen atom of methane has been replaced by chlorine atom and we get chloromethane. By supplying more chlorine, it is possible to replace all the hydrogen atoms of methane by chlorine one by one. In this way, we can obtain three more compounds, dichloromethane or methylene dichloride, trichloromethane and tetrachloromethane. Let's move towards the next type of reactions. The reaction in which an unsaturated hydrocarbon combines with another substance to give a single product is called addition reaction. Addition reactions like addition of hydrogen, chlorine or bromine are a characteristic property of unsaturated hydrocarbons. Addition reactions are given by all unsaturated hydrocarbons having double or triple bonds that is alkenes and alkynes respectively. Unsaturated hydrocarbons add hydrogen in the presence of catalysts such as nickel or palladium. Catalysts are those substances that cause a reaction to occur or proceed at a different rate without the reaction itself being affected. This reaction is commonly used in hydrogenation of vegetable oils using nickel catalysts. Vegetable oils generally have long unsaturated carbon chains while animal fats have saturated carbon chains. You may have noticed that some advertisements say that vegetable oils are healthy. Generally, animal fats contain saturated fatty acids, which are considered harmful to health. Oils containing unsaturated fatty acids should be chosen for cooking. In general, unsaturated hydrocarbon add on hydrogen in the presence of a catalyst such as nickel or palladium to form saturated hydrocarbons. The addition of hydrogen to an unsaturated hydrocarbon is called hydrogenation. And this hydrogenation is process used to prepare vegetable ghee from vegetable oils. Friends, in this video, we have studied the chemical properties of carbon compounds. In the next video, we will learn about ethanol and ethanoic acid.